Konnichiwa, my Charpara, and welcome back to the town to, to, to the town of light. So, we have to go. Here? I don't have headphones on. Hold on a second. Okay. So last time... Ooh, they showed how Rene and Amara were separated and we don't know where Amara is. Oh. Was this another bath things? I guess so. The screams are a little bit, you know. Disturbing. Okay, we got the piano. Oh. Hold on. Are those like evil rabbits? Evil b b b b bunny. Wait, what's that? Uh, what the fuck? What is that? Is that rope? No, I don't think they put rope. What the f Hello? Did Troy become human? Um, oh, okay. Monte Foscoli, December 20th, 1941. Dear Director. Could you please let me know how my daughter, your patient Renee T, is getting along? I've written to my daughter several times, but have received no reply. I'm very worried, particularly as I've been ill for some time and have not been well enough to come and visit her. Please kindly let me know when it will be possible for me to bring my daughter home. Your humble servant, Ada T. Bring this letter to the attention of Dr. C so he can assess the potential discharge of the patient. That's fucking rude. Not delivered. Like not delivered to to Rene, huh? Okay, these are obviously locked. Okay, people, can you please like, you know, put the volume down? Oh, okay. Pull him down. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm scared. Where is my room? I can't find my room. Is it then that way? Ah, oh, fuck. Annabelle. This is like semi, S semi and slightly are same things, right? What? 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 Wait, I had to check from the uh, 
from the from the internet like what the fuck am I supposed to do she was supposed to talk on these parts but she ain't talking you know those like close the doors and shut the lights We call that Pakkabaita. They gave you a cold shower. They suffocated you with a sheet. Oh, wow. They tied you to the bed. They tied me to the bed. Oh my god, is that Amara? A woman died next to me, choked by her own vomit. Oh no. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop pleasuring herself. Oh yeah, that was I sin back then. Her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there. All of them. Oh, uh, it hello. Was I saw the doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. Hello. Okay, they are creepy. What the... Ew. The past was like the present. That doll, that man, the shame. So Renee was increasingly divorced from reality. So another man? How will I ever find out what really happened? How will I ever find Amara again if I can't even find myself? So she ah uh, what? She was raped again. Montefoscoli, November twelfth, nineteen thirty nine. My dear daughter, it is with great sadness that I heard what happened. Your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me. It will take time, but you'll see. Things will improve. They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot, every day. Write to me often and tell me if you need anything. I promise I'll do what I can. Try to be strong, Mom. La Mama. Okay. This is the last letter she wrote to me. Once I was put into this ward, I was overwhelmed by loneliness. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mom. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come to see me? Did I make a mistake? It didn't seem like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I'd like to be able to reply to her again now, to change things. Oh. I have a fear which I can understand. I can't keep it.
chance she would have listened to me. Will she reply? Do do do. <laughs> now they are open. Ah, uh, fuck. What does this say? Symptoms and treatment specially specify one or more of the following abnormal behavior. What does it say? Look at the unstable, incoherent, extravagant. Okay, that's too, too much to understand, even in Finnish. Impulsive, nervous, erotic, uh, what the hallucination, red in the face, excited, what, lying, cruel, angry. You know what, I would have one. Uh, the angry, sometimes exciting. What the fuck is this? Even nervous? Really? Pfft. You know what? Fuck that. That's stupid. Are you like... Oh. Paige. The letters were sent to the archive. It was their job to post them. Archive, okay. Let's go to to arc one. Let's go to arc one. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Not in here. Maybe down. Oh fuck. Maybe downstairs. Hello, elevator. Nice to meet you again. Yeah. So where is this avocado? Para para avocado. Is it in here? You all take letters. Lettuce. Wait, what? Amara? <gasps> Amara? Died! Oh man, Amara died? Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, actually, not that, like, surprising, because, you know... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Was it this play? Oh, come on. Somebody take this letter, please. Pretty, please. When you were sent to a lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here. Even the clothes you were wearing. In case you were released one day. But far too many never left. Come on, close it. Do I have to put it in there? Documents. Hmm. There must be a file with my name in the filing cabinet somewhere. He made a fuck. Oh, yeah, I have the letter. Fuck. Hold on. Your name. A, B, C. Mm. 
Is it here, like on the R? Oh my god. Dear mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. I'm so frightened here. You were right. I know I was wrong. I understand. I'm so ashamed. If only you Wait, knew what? She wrote that instead of my but thing? Now I'll behave myself, I promise. Now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Or is it like Your daughter, you Renee. had to say this? Or the fuck? This letter. It was Renee's letter. No. Oh. Just as she wrote it back then. But it was never sent. Why? Why did this happen? I received your letter, Mom. You tell me to be patient and strong, while I only feel fear and pain. And you don't write to me anymore. If only these words could be my soul, I'd tell you what was happening to me. The kids want to kill me. They all look the other way and tell me what to do. I don't understand. She helps me. But what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Montefoscoli, July 7th, 1940. My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You have not contacted me in months. I'm sorry, but I don't have the money to come and visit you. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be in Volterra for business. I've asked him if he would be kind enough to ask the director for some news about you. I hope he'll bring me some good news when he returns. But please write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to forgive me. I didn't think. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, darling. Everything will be fine, you'll see. Mom. Montefoscoli, October 12th, 1940. My dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. Every day, I'm anxiously waiting for a letter. Mr. Onofrio's back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he was unable to speak to the director, but managed to see you. I pray for you every day. Even Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. Isn't that nice? I've made up my mind, Renee. I'm bringing you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. I'm not very well at the moment and can't work. But I'll get better soon, you'll see. And as soon as I can make the journey, I'll come and fetch you. I know you're suffering a lot. But please be strong, I beg you. Mom will come to fetch Renee, won't she? Mom is good, but she's not well. That's why that man came. The doll. Renee could have played with it while she was waiting for her to arrive. But Renee didn't have it with her. Is it one of Mom's lies? She knew that she'd hurt Renee and... No, no, Mommy's good. That man brought it. We've just remembered who he is, haven't we? It was Renee who was wrong. The doll's here. I know that for sure. Perhaps she's been abducted like all the others and is locked up here somewhere. Hmm. Now we can open the bundle on that table in front of the window. You see? Mom was good. I was bad. 
Mama mm -mm. was worried about Renee Hello. and Charlotte. I abandoned I am Charlotte. your new PH. We've abandoned her. Do you want to die? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, and you called as well. Yes. Which I can use. Yes. Wait. Okay, it's not English. What's that key, though? Do I need this? No? What? What do you want me to do? Do I need the shoes or something? Do they have a message? Okay. Does the doll have something? Dun, 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 dun. The doll has nothing. Oh, okay. May the Lord guide your path and keep you from sin. Mom. Maria Vergine Adolorata. Oh. Is that me with the new doll? Yeah. Wonder if it's... Oh. Uh, creepy. Weeping somewhere. Here's a lullaby to close your eyes. Goodbye. It was always you that I despise. Huh? I don't feel enough for you to cry. Oh well. Here's a lullaby to close your eyes. Goodbye. Boom, boom, goodbye. Doom, doom, goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. So insignificant. Do, 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 do. Are you hiding away, lost under the sewers? Maybe flying high in the clouds. Perhaps you're happy there with us. Here's a lullaby to close your eyes. Goodbye. It was oh shit. It was always you that I despise. I don't feel enough for you to cry. Oh well, here's a little. Okay, let's check the. Oh, okay. Hey, wait. Oh, just the door. I I don't know what to do. Do I have to Let's look for Charlotte. Oh, okay. We have abandoned her. Oh, shoot. Will she still be where we abandoned her under the warm lights? Uh The page is here. Hello. Okay, let's watch this and then I'll stop for today. Ew.
Why it's turning on its own? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's you, Potato Head! Not like I called, in, called him a Potato I, I didn't do anything. I just obeyed orders. I only obeyed oh, orders. Oh, I'm not sure I was gonna win. Mom will come and get me. She loves us. Even though we're there. Leave us alone. Sure, I didn't do anything. Now stop! I only obeyed orders. Mom will come and get us. I didn't do anything. I only obeyed orders. Even though we're bad. Mom won't leave us alone. I didn't do anything. Charlotte gone away. I only obeyed orders. Mom will come and get us now. She loves us. Even though we're bad. I didn't do anything. I only obeyed orders. Hello. Oh no, hello guys. What up? Is some of you Amara? Amara? Nani? What are you gonna do, bitch? This is... I feel so bad. Oh no, is that Amara? I feel so bad for the people who actually went through shits like this. Oh no. I I just came, okay? There's a lot of people before me. I uh, uh, Hello. Okay. What's happening there? Wait. What? What did they do? What the f What the frick is going on? Can you tell me? A nun? I don't need Jesus. I need to go home. You also fucked up people. Oh my Oh my god, what are you doing? In the name of Jesus, shut the fuck up. Oh, that she can't like scream, huh? They shocked me? Sorry for the qu I'm, I'm just shocked. They gave me. September 7th, 1938. The patient frequently indulges in recriminations expressed in an explosive tone of voice. This morning she threw away the milk, saying it was full of urine, spittle, and all kinds of other filth. Crazed, she hears voices that order her to do things. She says she heard children singing and that they were locked up in a school. January 20th, 1939. Introverted. Dazed, cannot focus on anything. When questioned and stimulated, she starts crying and weeping. At other times, she laughs. June 1st, apathetic, eats very little. She refuses to be touched, does not respond. Spends her time in the grounds. The cooks report that she sits on a bench in front of the kitchens. October 14th, return of impulsive behavior. 
This morning she asked for two eggs to make Zabayoni, but when she got them, she threw them up in the air. Excited, clamorous, slightly confused, takes her clothes off. December 8th, tied to bed for 15 days. High-spirited, tends to make witty comments and use vulgar words, laughs hysterically and pleasures herself. The nurses report that about two weeks ago she remained in the showers on her own and didn't want to leave. They said that when they took her away she swore at them and then lashed out and bit them. Two nurses had to be treated for their injuries. They've kept her tied to the bed since then. Transferred to the slightly agitated ward from the care of Dr. B to the care of Dr. C. I was with Amara in the showers. My memories are terrifying. They're not real, are they? December 15th, Dr. C. Patient notes. The abnormality of her psychic state has induced her to lead a life which is irregular and tends towards delinquency. Of fickle and flighty character, she regularly discards her household duties and engages in occasional prostitution. Delinquency? Prostitution? Renee? It seems so strange, unreal. It can't be true. And Amara? She loved us and would tell us everything. She wouldn't hide anything from us. Her mental deficiency makes her deaf to the reprimands of her family. She has shown suicidal tendencies. She was brought to the ward yesterday, agitated and hysterical. Treated with cardiazol, two injections a week for five weeks. They were only trying to confuse us with the therapy, and my god, they succeeded. It was as if they wanted to instill the madness into us. Therapies removed the light for a while, but also all her will, desire, and hope. It was torture, but we had no choice. Nobody explained anything. No one tried to help us understand. We were like farm animals. June 2nd. After a long period of calm and improvement, the patient is very agitated today and vehemently refuses to submit to a gynecological examination. She swears and curses those helping her, flailing her arms and hitting them. According to reports by Dr. B, the patient has been subjected to periodic checkups since she had a spontaneous abortion about two years ago, in her third month of pregnancy. Conception occurred after she had sexual intercourse with a stranger who sneaked into the hospital grounds. Details are contained in the charges filed at police headquarters in Volterra, a copy of which is attached to these clinical notes. ES Therapy a spontaneous abortion. It's not true. I can't believe it. How could I have invented things if I didn't even know what they were doing to me? June 13th. The nurses report that she descended into a state of great mental confusion after receiving her mother's letter. She threw her soup over another inmate because she was very anxious and then punched a nurse. Impulsive flails about her. She rails against the doctor in vulgar terms while he is examining her, lashes out and spits. 
block all correspondence to give the patient no further reason to become agitated. August 20th, tied to bed. The nurses report that the patient is extremely agitated after the visit of a relative or family friend. Two days later, she is still shouting all the time that he commands her, that she must obey and harm herself, and that she is not Charlotte. All visits forbidden, constrained to bed, and intensification of ES therapy until we achieve results. No contact with the outside. That way, nobody knew what was happening within these walls. Calm down. You must be calm. Don't get agitated. We'll make you calm down. Is that the only thing that matters? Is tranquility worth the price of not living? March 3rd. Alert. Correct attitude. Replies when questioned. The nurses report that the patient is calm. She washes and looks after herself. She affirms the existence of a certain Amara. She says that Amara is a patient who disappeared when she was moved to this ward. No confirmation. Probably a regressive hallucination. Evaluate transfer. Did I imagine Amara? That's not possible. She was there. I know she was there. I feel it. She must have left some traces of her presence. 